Okay, today we're going to learn about clipping mask. A clipping mask is a quick way of kind of making a keyhole or a window for you to see what is underneath. All right, it's a way of fitting everything or or masking it off so that you can't see the stuff around it. What I use it for um, is for kind of hiding some of the shapes that I need to hide. For instance, up here you can see that I've got a mouth and I have the teeth. I didn't want to have to draw each individual tooth and have it run along the edge here. So I made my shape for the mouth and I can use it as a clipping mask. So I make the teeth all in a row and then I put the gums underneath. I take my shape that I've created already, I put it on top and I select all of these things together and because this mouth shape is on top, it is the top object, and if I make a clipping mask, it will be the clipping mask. Now, beware, because the clipping mask makes the object that's used in the top, as top object, it will make it invisible. So if you want to have that outlined, I believe you can go to the appearance and add a new stroke. Uh, that adds a new stroke to the entire effect. So you'd have to actually release the clipping mask, select your object, copy it and make my clipping mask again and then I'm going to actually go to edit paste in front which is control F now I've pasted that object that was the mouth directly on top if I filled it in with black and white you could see it I'm gonna take off the fill and now you can actually see there it is there's the mouth shape I like to do it I've done it over here with an eye so I made a nice gradient for the eye and the iris, I've got the shape of the eye on top, make clipping mask, and there you go. Now you don't have to try to fit the iris, which is supposed to be a perfect circle, inside of the eye itself, okay? You just have to make the object on top and make a clipping mask.